Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Jay. My co pilot is here with me. Yeah, I just can't see him. There. Okay, he turned around so y'all can see him. But he's here too. Today, we're going to be watching Primal Fear. Um, I know Edward Norton's in this movie. I think it's his first row. Really? Honestly, I don't know what this is about. I hope y'all enjoy watching it with me. For y'all that haven't subscribed, I need y'all to do me a favor. Huge favor. I need y'all go down there, hit that like and subscribe for me. Hit that little click, click. Also hit that bell with notification for me. That way you'll be reminded whenever we drop something new because we got a lot of hot stuff coming your way. We just want to thank you for all the love y'all been showing us. Love that y'all in the comment section talking to us. We appreciate it. We love talking to y'all. We greatly appreciate y'all. Down in the bottom of the description, we also have our Patreon on there. Um, you want to watch our full list movies? Go check that out. Might as well go ahead and join the family. We're going to be here for a while. You got to do it for the sleeping baby. You got to. We're about to get into this movie. On my first day of law school, my professor says two things. First, from this day forward, when your mother says she loves you, get a second opinion. <laughs> Damn. Edward Norton, young lady. Chicago Bar Association and Catholic Charities. I'm afraid you're gonna have to put that on. It's a bar, for Christ's sake. She got a point. You look beautiful. Cut your hair? Yeah, a few months ago. You wanna dance? There isn't any music. Sure there is. Yeah, hey, old school pimp, ain't he? We have to do this turn around. I thought you liked it better like this. That way you don't have to look at the person. That's funny as hell. We saw each other for months. It was a one night stand, Marty. It just lasted six months. That's a hell of a one night stand. John. <clears throat> I haven't seen this many lawyers. He's, I still got it. <laughs> they toxic. He may be your client, but Joey Panera was a hard case felon. Mr. Pinheiro has never been convicted of anything. Having said that, I'm not opposed to a settlement. A million five and Pinheiro leaves the state. You can't limit a citizen's right to live wherever he wants to. Legally, that's unenforceable. For a million five, I'll leave the state. You're on 40% commission, Marty. I have nothing but confidence your recommendation will prevail. Thank you, John. I mean, he ripping him off and he's smiling about it. from out of nowhere like that oh i didn't know this was this type of movie i didn't know it was going to show shit like that my dude's hand was just it chopped all this shit off didn't it it's a dope ass song man i got my hand up thinking about that shit. oh there's uh, one more little thing they want you to uh they want you to leave the state. They want you to disappear. How you tell a monster to disappear? So what are they gonna do? Kill me? Tried once. How are they gonna kill a man who never sleeps? <laughs> well, how'd he get your ass the first time? I mean, I wouldn't care if he left state or not. I got my cut. You wanna stay in state? It's on you, bro. I told you what they said. I can't make you leave. I'm nervous because I, I hope they don't show that nasty. Oh, sh. He cut his leg and everything up, didn't he? Sam, you got all you need? Okay. Jenny, roll him over. No, don't roll him over. Oh, my God. <laughs> they got enough cops after him? How did they catch him this fast? So my man sung in the choir and then chopped this man up. Hello, this is Martin Vale. You got the news on by any chance? Yeah, we're watching it. Find out where they took him and call me right back. I'm at the alibi. Hey, a lot of guys are going to want this one. Hey, he quick on the case, ain't he? 
I'd like to see him alone if I could. All right, I'm gonna have to lock you in. Understood. Nah, bro, you ain't locking me in nowhere. Now, I'm not getting locked in with somebody who just chopped another man up. We talked to him to his fence. Don't worry about it. You from Kentucky, huh? Yes, sir. I'm from uh, Crickside. I swear to God, I better say he sound like he's from, like, from Kentucky. I swear to you. Hey, he sound like my neighbor. Aaron, did you have any reason to dislike the Archbishop? Dis dislike? No. No, sir. He was like a father to me. The way to treat your dad, ain't it? There was someone else in that room, Mr. Bale. That was the third person? Yes, sir. Did you tell the police this? Yes. Yes, I did. Is he lying? I have spells. I lose time. I can't. I can't remember nothing. Oh, he bad crazy, ain't he? I'm your attorney, which means I am your mother, your father, your best friend. He just chopped his last dad up. I'm going to be his father. Mother said I'd be losing time. How the f you lose time? He blacks out. Okay. Next thing he knows, sirens are screaming, covered in blood. The cops find him in a train tunnel. He's got the archbishop's ring in his pocket. He stole the archbishop's ring? I didn't say that. I said it was in his pocket. Why would he take his ring? I mean, I guess he didn't need it no more. He can't handle no hands. Chop the fingers off. What does he look like in person? The butcher boy? He looks crazy. He looks fucking crazy. He looked like he was skinning you and wearing you as a jacket and have your face as shoelaces. That's what he looks like. If I am to prosecute this case, I'll be given the authority which comes with the assignment. There's not a public defender. He's got a lawyer? Already? Who? Your one night stand. <laughs> Somebody about to get again in this situation. What's the matter, Marty? Lost your faith? Now tell me, counselor, which one of us is the true headline chaser here? Unlike you, I was assigned to this case. Want to see some pictures? They're kind of cute. Kind of pictures they talk about. Clearly show the heinous nature of the crime. I don't want to see none of these pictures. A small mm -hmm. piece of advice. I'm not sitting second chair to you anymore. In case you hadn't noticed, I graduated. Oh, they used to work together. What's the matter, Marty? You nervous? Been a while since you rubbed up against a woman with a brain. What is the matter? You tired? You haven't been sleeping well? You're the one with the score to settle, Marty. I sleep great at night. I like them too. I love their back and forth. It's amazing. Like, I think it would be hard to be a lawyer who had to defend people like this. <laughs> you know, after just hearing some of this shit, I just be like, hey, you know what? Hey, man, you're crazy as shit, bro. I know you ain't supposed to judge people, but I'll be, I will be judging this shit out of them. Like, you did what? Why? Do you understand the charges brought against you? Yes. I direct my client not to answer that question on the grounds that his response may tend to incriminate him. The defendant is taking the fifth on whether or not he understands the charges? Until we have a complete psychological evaluation, he will be taking the fifth on any and all questions posed to him. Well, you know what? I mean, he had to kill that dude. I'm looking for the room a kid named Aaron Stampler stayed in. To the police? I'm his uncle. Can they do that? They can't just let people in there. Woo! Oh! Okay, so maybe he didn't do it. This is this is Alex's. Who's Alex? One one of one of the other altar boys. Well, this altar boy attacked a colleague of mine. He hurt him pretty bad. Angle I, I'm still mad at the dude from the miss, so I'm glad he got punched. What I need to know is, do you think he's capable of doing it? I, I don't know who's capable of such a thing, Mr. Vale. Well, at least he ain't a snitch. So he claims there was someone else in the room and that he can't remember. I think the kid's telling the truth. I don't. I don't know now, because Alex was hiding for no reason. But I won't go in there to validate his story, understood? Do your job, I do mine, yada, yada. That's right. Why was Alex hiding? And I'm not going to lie, you pulled my earring out of my ear. I'd have turned around and curve stopped you about two or three times. Then ran. So, okay. I think we'll be fine. All right, see you later. Bye. Okay. He looks so f***ing crazy, though. Have you had these blackouts before? Yes, yes, I have. They, they start, start, started when I was about 12. Maybe. 
Were your parents aware of what was happening to you? Well, it been crazy for a while, huh? Anybody in your position would deal this down to murder with no death penalty. We have a f***ing great case. Great case? Lack of prior record, no eyewitness, no confession, no motive. Hard evidence. He just broke that down, didn't he? By the way, you're pleading the fifth on the charges was brilliant. It was good, wasn't it? I liked it. I love them together. I'm not just talking about jail here. It's about ending someone's life. If you're wrong, Chauncey's made you do this, you're going to be able to live with it? I'll live. Damn, she cold. The only reason the prosecution wants to show these gory pictures to the jury is shock appeal. That is, they connect the defendant who was found covered in blood to the crime scene. Right. Next thing you know, he'll be objecting if we want to bring in the murder weapon. Well, now that she brings it up. <laughs> He's like, well, I mean... Excuse me, Mr. Vale. Would you sign this for me? I love you. They've been my favorite part of this movie so far. Tell me about Linda. She was uh, doing work for Bishop, Bishop Rushman. What was the relationship like? We, we might get married. Were you having a sexual relationship, Aaron? Look how crazy you look. Yes, we were. Were you sleeping with anyone else at the time? No. Was she? Did you see that face he made? Hey, man, he, he got to be so f***ed up. Like, he doing crazy shit. And he paused before he answers everything. So I'm just... Edward Norton killing this shit. I can't even lie. That dude got to be guilty. And I don't know if Alex done it, but when the psych person was talking to him, you know what I'm saying? He looked a little, little angry. Like, he had one of them moments. Aaron was arrested within minutes of the Archbishop's death. We all know that. We all saw it on television. But why? The prosecution does not want you to hear about the other altar boys who have mysteriously disappeared. Like, I have a thought in my head of why this happened, but I'm not going to say it. Stabbed at the Archbishop's chest, his genitals, his eyes. See? The stabbing of the genitals, that, that makes me feel like what I was about to say was right. I don't think I could be on trial for <laughs> Have somebody ask me all these questions? Even if I didn't do I would get aggravated. Just be like, leave me alone. <laughs> Clearly, the victim suffered a great number of stab wounds. He did, 78. He tried to defend himself. That's why he got caught. <laughs> Fucking OJ. <laughs> why you got stabbed 78 times? What are you doing, bub? Daddy trying to figure out who got, who murdered this person. Did you underline that book? Did I what? Did you underline that book? No, 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 Miss Vale. No? He lying? I don't, don't, don't like Hawthorne. I mean, I weren't the only one using Bish, Bishop Brushman's library. He... You know he lying. We're losing this case. Look, maybe we already got the kid who did this. We have to at least consider the possibility that he did it. All the hard evidence is pointing towards him, and you keep refusing to even look at I'm not refusing to look at anything. I don't think he did it. Why don't he think he did it? He's supposed to be a good lawyer. Scooby-Doo didn't know, know he did it. You know what I'm saying? Velma could see this shit without her glasses. It must have been hard for you to come here to Chicago. Do, do, do you think we can do this later? No, I want to stay with him. I'm just not feeling... Is the battery about to die? Is that why I was beeping? Are you all right? No, no. My hand hurts. Okay, I'm sorry. Let me just fix this. Hey, you know what I can do with this thing? Well, how the f should I know? Oh! Oh, little Aaron got a little devil with him, don't you? You see that sh What was you saying? Oh, don't talk to me like that, demon. You see that damn devil? Hey, I'll throw some holy water on him. I don't think I can say and holy water in the same sense. If they knew they was going to chase somebody, why are they still got on dress shoes? I bet it stink down there. That better smell like piss and diapers. And earring backs.
And that place smells worse. I'm going to tell you, he would get away from me. This goes somewhere that stinks. They haven't got a bad smell. I'm not staying. I'll be in there throwing up. What do you want? God damn it, I'll kill you. I don't think so, Alex. Drop it. F*** that. He whooped your ass earlier. Shoot him in the kneecap. What do you know about the Archbishop's murder? Nothing. Shoot him in the kneecap. He can't run. Ain't nobody that I'm going to tell him. Ah. What are you doing to the house? What are you looking for? A tape. A tape? Of what? Sex stuff. Sex stuff. So remember what I said earlier? That's what I wanted to say, but I didn't want to. I shouldn't have said it because that's what I'm talking about. Archbishop by day, Pornhole CEO by night. I need to talk to him alone. I think there's something we should discuss. I need to be alone with my client. She trying to tell you he's crazy. I'm losing this case. You know why I'm losing this case? Because my client is lying to me. I never, 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 never lied to you. Hey, you better quit playing with him. The other side gonna come out. I'm the only one who believes you, and I am that close. So I want it all out. All of it, right now, right here. You ain't gonna like him when he turn it. Hey, he gonna turn green on you. That's the Hulk. I saw the tape. I know what he did to you. Oh, no, tell me, no. Tell me the whole thing. You did it, didn't you? Tell me the truth. Don't lie to me. Look at him, he's crazy. Son of a bitch, you f***ing killed him. Um, what the hell you want from me now? Quit your crying, I can't understand a goddamn word you're saying. You little sissy, you make me sick. Oh, s***. For you. For you? Hey, it's my shit. <laughs> Who the f*** are you? Hey, he, hey. He has some serious questions. Like, Who the f*** are you? You his lawyer, ain't you? Yeah. It sounds to me like they're gonna shoot old Aaron so full of poison it's gonna come out his eyes. Oh, hell. Aaron's crying off in some corner somewhere. You scared him off. You gotta deal with me now, boy. Look at me. You ever come in here with pulling that tough guy shit on Aaron again, I will kick your f***ing ass to Sunday. Do you understand me? Look here, bro. I, I know you're not Aaron and you're a little tougher, but you weigh 105 pounds. Man, if you don't get your lightweight ass out my face, I will fart and blow your chest in. You better go the f*** on, man. Get the f*** out my face, little boy. If he'd have done like I told him, we wouldn't be in this mess. But he got scared and duh. That's funny. Aaron don't have the guts to do nothing. It was me, boy. It was me. It was hey, he said that boy just like he's from Kentucky. He come crying to me like always. I can't, can't take it no more, Roy. You, you gotta, gotta help me. Oh, his name Roy. So your name is Roy. Oh, geez, I'm sorry. Yeah. What is it, Marty? Hey, he's crazy as my man turned around and says, oh, nice. Hey, oh, yeah, nice to meet you. You've seen the tape. <laughs> oh! Don't you show that to a goddamn oh. person. Do you understand me? Yeah. Aaron. 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 <sighs> See, I would test it out. I know that's Aaron looking back at Blackman, but I'm going to jab this shit out because I owe Roy an ass whooping just to see if Roy come back. If Roy come back, I'm a curb stomp him. Mr. Vale? No, Mr. Vale, me. Don't talk to me. You got a damn demon in you. I asked you a question. You turned to a whole different person. You said you black out lose time. You didn't say you had another person living in your body? You did it. You did it. We knew that an hour ago. You don't know what I was questioning? I questioned it once, but rest of the time. They're put me on the stand. I'll testify. He's insane. I can't change a plea in the middle of a trial. My professional opinion? This is not a criminal we're dealing with. It's a sick kid. He might be a sick kid, but he got an ass whooping coming. Well, slap me in. Slap me into some glass. But wait till this trial over with. So how are you going to get him off? <laughs> I don't know. That was a joke to be had right there, but I'm leaving it alone. Aaron is innocent. It's Roy who is guilty. This kid doesn't need a lawyer. He needs an exorcist. <laughs> Tell me. All right. This kid does not deserve to die, and it's our job to make sure that a jury believes he doesn't deserve to die. How do we do it? The tape. What about the tape? That's crazy. No. That gives him motive. No, no. Can you show that in court? But we can't put it in. You know that. But we're not going to. Now how they gonna get it in? Oh.
Please tell me, because I don't get it. I forgot she was in a movie. I have to say that's smart. If you couldn't introduce it in court, the jury would despise you for it, for dishonoring the bishop's memory. If you get me to show it, you gain sympathy for your poor little abused boy. Hey, she's smart, though, ain't she? I hate you. Don't use it. I have no intention of using it. I love them two together. All right, this is not your motive. What is? I have motive. What is it? I'm really gonna tell you. You better tell the jury pretty soon. Time's running out. You think you've got me. You think, because you know me as well as you do, you know how I think. I swear I love them. I don't know what happened in this movie, but I, just, I hope they get together. <laughs> I'm rooting for them as a couple. <laughs> State calls Thomas Goodman. The prosecution knows full well that Mr. Goodman is my investigator in this case. Now, where did Mr. Vale get this tape? Oh, he nervous as shit. Can you describe for me what's on this tape? A kind of home movie. A home movie? Pornhub. That's what's on there. And was the defendant one of the altar boys performing in the Archbishop's home movie? Yes, he was. Was his girlfriend? I believe her name is Linda Forbes. You ain't gonna call my girlfriend like that. Cause y'all show this tape. Y'all will not embarrass me like that. I will not ask you, Mr. Goodman, if you think we have just uncovered motive here. We'll decide that for ourselves once we've all seen the videotape. So they just be in court watching porn? Can they do that? Ain't that like invasion of privacy? I would hate for that to happen. Start looking for a job. Damn, they fired her on, on, on the spot, didn't they? The trial ain't even over. Dr. Errington, how much time have you spent with Aaron Stampler? Around 60 hours. And what did you find in the course of your evaluation? I found that Mr. Stampler suffers from an acute disassociative condition. If you fire me, I'm not finishing the trial. Y'all finish it on y'all's own. In your opinion, is Aaron Stampler capable of murder? No, he is not. He is far too traumatized to express normal anger and frustration. Oh. Which is why he created Roy, who is capable of such a Objection, crime. Objection, Your Honor. That's enough, Mr. Vale. Madam Prosecutor, do you wish to cross? You bet I do. I would even be, I'm trying to tell you, they fired me. I'm not here. It'd be somebody else in this part of the movie. How the f is this movie going to end? She didn't got fired. They can't really say Roy is there because they claim they don't have evidence, but he got that tape at home where Roy turns into Roy. He gonna make him turn to Roy? You didn't feel anger towards him about being forced to perform in that tape. He did everything for me. There wasn't nothing else I could do for him and he, he needed it. What he needed? Mr. Stampler, would you like some water? No, 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 ma'am. You sure? Yeah, yes, ma'am, yes. Mr. Stampler? No, I didn't, I did not underline that book. You didn't underline it? No, no, ma'am. He about to flip that in. You loved him. You loved him like a father. There was, there was no other way for him to cast out his own demons. He needed to get off, Aaron, that's what he was doing. That's what he needed you for, to perform like a circus animal. That was your function in his life. No, no. So when Roy came out and murdered her, what's gonna happen? Did the Archbishop force you and your girlfriend to perform sexual acts while he watched, yes or no? Yes, he did, yes, but- Yes, yes, he forced you. How do you defend that? put you in front of a camera, he made you take off your clothes, and you don't think that that's another side? No. Do you know what I would do if someone did that to me? I would kill him. I wouldn't hesitate. No. I would carve numbers into his chest. I would gouge out his eyes, I swear to God. But that's me. Sound like you murdered me. 
No further questions, Your Honor. Where the hell do you think you're going? Excuse hey, me? Hey, you look at me when I'm talking to you. Mr. Stampler, you made it coming. Hey, Roy, I'm about to kill it. Come on, 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 Why did they shoot him? I'd have shot him so fast. Don't even think of lighting that cigarette, Miss Venable. The judge dirty. I know you got choked out, but that. I'm going to dismiss the jury in favor of a bench trial and a blind plea of not guilty by reason of insanity. The defendant will be remanded to Elgin for an evaluation period of 30 days. Do either of you have a problem with it? Your Honor, he'll be out in a month. Take it over the legislature, Miss Venable. And he's still dirty. He knew Roy was gonna to try to do something to her. And he set her up. He dirty for that shit. You knew, didn't you? You knew if I went after him, he'd wig out up there. I knew he'd come out if he was threatened. And who better to do that than me? You used me. Yeah. Yeah, I did. I had no choice. What did I use? I know you do your job. Christ, Marty, why is it you think you always know what's right for me? Because I'm arrogant. At least he's honest. No. <laughs> da -da, da -da. No. That's why I love them. They make me happy. I told y'all. I hope they end up together somehow. If the movie never tell me they do, I'm going to tell myself they did. Don't care. You don't remember what just happened? No. I lo lo lost time again. Well, I got some good news. They've agreed to stop the trial. They're going to be sending you to a hospital. You can get the help you need. For 30 days, then you're only home. The minute you came into my cell, I knew everything was going to be okay. You saved my life. He also saved Roy's life. Hey, Mr. Bale. Yeah. Will you t t tell Miss Venable I'm sorry? T tell her I, I hope her neck is, is okay? I thought he didn't remember. If he lost time. If he, yeah, how did he remember it? What did you just say? What? You told me you don't remember. You black out. That's exactly what the he says. Shut the fuck up. Well, good for you, Marty. Shut the fuck up. Just, just had to kill Linda, Mr. Vale. That that just got what she deserved. Oh, he killed Linda too. So there never, there never was a Roy. Jesus Christ, Marty! If that's what you think, I am disappointed in you. I don't mind telling you, there never was an Aaron counselor. Shut the f up. Come on, Marty. I thought you had it figured there at the end. Well, you put me on the stand like that. That was. Brilliant, Marty. We're a great team, you and me. You think I could have done this without you? Shut the fuck up! Because you started to care about old Aaron. I can understand that, but, you know, love hurts, Marty. What can I say? Hey, I'm just kidding, bud. I didn't mean to hurt your feelings. So my man has been Roy this whole time. Just bat crazy. And he been playing as Aaron. Somebody please tell me Edward Norton won an award for this. Can you imagine that? You've been going out your way to try to save this Then you find out that he's crazy. It turned out he ain't crazy. He just smarter than you. <laughs> he's smarter than everybody else. He had a mean ass game plan. Shut the up. So Roy out there just Academy Award winning performance to be earned just <laughs> so he had the church and everybody fooled in like that's crazy hey man that's just one of them losses you gotta just take on the chin bro you, just, you can't tell nobody you gotta get him assassinated like for real 
Like, I ain't saying you should put a hit out on people, but if you put a hit out on him, I will understand. Like, I won't judge you because he played you for a dummy. I totally love the back and forth between him and her. I told y'all that the whole time. But, hey, man, I'm about to go rewatch this here in a minute. You going to tell the people about I hope y'all enjoy the movie. I, I love this movie. I love this movie. I loved it. Um, if y'all didn't do it earlier, do me a favor. Hit that like and subscribe for me down at the bottom. Hit that bell notification. Um, that way you'll be notified when we drop new stuff on the channel. Don't forget about the Patreon. But y'all have a good one. Thank y'all for being here. Y'all be safe. Night-night! <laughs>